Big change is heading to Moriarty after vandals compromised the town's water supply. The problem was fixed quickly, but KOAT Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton explains how the city is now looking to beef up security near their pump house. Tucked behind locks and a barbed wire fence, many overlook Moriarty's pump house. But it supplies water for an estimated 2,000 people, making it one of the city's most important buildings. It's the source of life. If you don't have water, uh, you don't live. But over a week ago, the city's water supply was thrown into jeopardy. The mayor says someone cut through the fence here and shut off two water valves, causing pumps to burn out, cutting off access to two of the city's main water wells. We have determined that it was an act of vandalism. Uh, our police department is investigating it. Since September 11th, Homeland Security has asked cities across the nation to actively protect public water supplies out of fear that terrorists may try to contaminate our drinking water. Moriarty was without water for a few hours, but crews were able to fix the problem. Still, for Mayor Ted Hart, the break in is priority one. We do need to take some more steps in securing our entire system. The city says it already takes steps to protect the pump house, but now it wants to do more cameras, more lighting, uh, intra control points. Uh, so we do need to look at uh, the, the more modern technology. Hart says the city needs to act fast. He says whoever broke in knew what they were doing and that it could be only a matter of time before it happens again. In Moriarty, Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News. The city will discuss adding more security near the pump house at an upcoming council meeting. 